I grew up in Paynton, um, which is a uh, you know in Torbay. But I uh, used to live in Dartmouth uh, for a while, and my parents didn't want me to um, to change schools or anything. So we have the in, in Paynton we have the Paynton Kingswear steam railway. So while people were like nowadays are using steam railways as a heritage as kind of something different and unique. I was using it as a public service because I was getting from Paynton to Kingswear to go across to Dartmouth to see my grandparents. So I, it was a normal thing for me to be on a steam train. Like I don't think I saw an intercity train until probably about 87 or 88 when I was like, I don't know, like 10 or something. It's a strange thought that, you know, chugging along the uh, River Dart on a, on a steam train was, was, was almost as simple as just getting a bus. So it felt, it was, it was something magical. Come on, Ivor, back to work. And I was a big fan of trains. I had a model railway when I was a kid, and yeah, I was obsessed with trains. Give me a steam train any day, and if I, you put me into a heritage railway, I'm fascinated with trains again. I'm a single man. I don't have. I've never been married. I had a long, a long relationship once, but it's sort of. It sort of fizzled out, and now I'm at that age, you know, my mid 40s, where I just think, oh, I, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, I haven't been looking for a relationship of any kind. There have been moments in the past. I'll talk briefly about someone who I left behind and, and chose a life on ships. She's now married and child, and I won't say her name, but. probably the last person that I really fell in love with and I chose ships travel she wanted me to choose that as well which was quite interesting she she actually gave me the confidence to choose that and yet by giving me the confidence to choose a major lifestyle change and traveling the world and, and, and living on ships for 10 years meant that I forfeited a life with her I think there was a possibility of something there and I feel, with all the things that I've seen, I've been around the world on the world cruises, and with all the things I've seen, I, I do look back at that with a certain amount of, oh, I don't know, I don't want to get too personal. I can't even. There were three sailors of Bristol City who took a boat and went to sea, but first with beef and captain's biscuits and pickled pork they loaded she. I do want a cat. I'm obviously Major Dolby's cat. You know, I'm not Major Dolby and I never really claim to be a major. Uh, I'm, it's a reference to uh, to a Ivor the Engine episode um, where Major Dolby's cat scares off Mrs. Brown. I think it's Mrs. Brown, is it? I think it's, he goes to Mrs. Brown. She's got a canary and he's transporting it. And it's like, oh no, look, it's Major Dolby's cat. Oh, and look, there's Major Dolby's cat. Oh, Ivor, it's creeping up on it.